Dennis, obviously that was a, a, a big win, impressive performance. What, what did you think about the fight tonight? Um, Honey Jason definitely brought a lot more to the table than I than expected. Um, I thought he would have um, gassed a little harder. Uh, it appeared that he was way more hungry being on the, um, what was that? His, uh, his cancel of his membership, you know, his, uh, I'm going to draw a blank right now. Yes, his suspension. Jeez, oh. Louise. <laughs> Tell you what, I think I got hit in the head tonight. Uh, so, um, yeah, he, I think being away from the, the cage made him hungry, and uh, he definitely brought it tonight. Yeah. You, it seemed like you were willing to, to take him down, to go into his guard a little bit, where that seemed like it might be a dangerous spot for you. Did you feel that, that you were always going to be comfortable? I'll, man, I love a guy's guard, man. I, I, that's, I feel very strong there. Um, man, me and my gym, man, at Long Island MMA, we, we grind on the ground, you know, bi-weekly hard, you know, and um, I think before I got to Long Island M MMA, my um, jiu-jitsu was the weakest part of my game, and it took them a while, but they broke me, and, you know, this is where you need to work, man. This is where, uh, where your flaws are, so we take a guy down. I'm really good at taking people down. Uh, I can hang with the best of them on my feet, so we take people down, we beat them up. The third round, you know, things were going your way, and then you got in a little bit of trouble there at the end. Uh, you know, how tight was it? How much trouble were you in? And, and what was going through your head at that point? He wasn't under my chin. Um, for a split second, I was like, man, he's kind of covering my mouth and my nose. And is there a neck crank here? But um, my, I was right next to my corner. And uh, my jiu-jitsu coach, Greg DiBasquale, was just like, it was like I was a video game for him. He was just coaching me through the thing. I, was just, I stayed calm. I looked him in the eyes, and I was just listening to, to what he was telling me to do. And after the win, you had the immediate call out ready to go. Why is that the fight that makes sense for you? Man, the, the reason why I'm here in the UFC is to be a champion. It's not to make money. It's not to, to be famous. It's to be the champion. Um, and Frank, a win over Frankie Edgar puts me right where I want to be for a title shot.